You can use a function called bin layouts to configure the position of your bin containers within Avid Media Composer. As an example, go ahead and create a series of bins within a single bin container. Highlight all your bins and right click to reveal a contextual menu. Choose Open Selected Bins. In doing so, all the bins will open within a single bin container as individual bin tabs. The default Media Composer interface is configured to use magnetic panels. I found that when working with bin layouts, it's best to work with floating window panels. To do this, navigate to the Windows menu and choose Float All Panels. This will give you room to rearrange and resize your various bin container windows within your available screen area on the background panel. You can now pull an individual bin tab from the container into an empty area, which will create a new bin container that contains a single bin tab. You can now organize and move your bin container windows to anywhere within the Media Composer interface. The last step is to create your bin layout. To do that, navigate to the Windows menu, Bin Layout, New Bin Layout. I recommend you use a simple naming system. So in this example, I'll save my bin layout as BL1. Now you can reposition and or resize your bin containers. To get everything back to its original layout, navigate back to the Windows menu and select your saved bin layout. Everything goes back to where you left off. If you choose, you can even close all your bin containers. Choosing your bin layout will reopen everything back in its saved position. You can also map a bin layout shortcut button to your timeline toolbar and or keyboard. To do this, navigate to the Tools menu and select Command Palette. Within the Command Palette, click on the Workspaces tab. By default, Media Composer gives you 12 pre-built workspace buttons that you can map. Click on one of the workspaces and towards the bottom of the list, choose a bin layout that you have previously saved. Drag the button to your timeline toolbar. To map a bin layout to a key on your keyboard, navigate to your Preferences. Click on the User tab and double click on the keyboard setting. Drag the same bin layout button from the Command Palette and drop it off on a key. When you're done, make sure you close the Keyboard Settings, Command Palette, and Preferences windows. So now, if you move your bin containers around and or close them, you can simply press the bin layout button that's been mapped to the timeline toolbar area or keyboard. That's it, now you know how to use bin layouts. For other great tips like this or to learn about becoming an Avid Certified Specialist, visit GeniusDV.com.